Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are going to be doing um, just a little bit of a different one. We're doing some spray painting today. I'm going to be working on that. This already, so without further ado, let's get on to it. So I've got my colours here, very pretty. Like, oh my gosh, so pretty, isn't it? Safety first. Safety first, I guess. Oh, this hurts my arm so much. It hurts so much. And now, let the painting commence. It's a smiley face. Here it is so far, we still got the rest of the paint left and so yeah, it's gonna be a long time to finish this. Whilst I'm letting that paint, I'm gonna do the British, the most British thing ever. Make a cup of tea. So, first of all, what you wanna do, get your mug of your choice. Simple really, you can buy one at your local shop, who cares. I've got one on my, of the channel logo. because I'm sad. But, who cares? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a, a kettle. Uh, Cause I live in a very, very cool house, probably better than yours, not gonna lie. Um, it means I don't need a kettle. But in your case, you'll have to make a kettle, not make a kettle, buy a kettle. So, what you're gonna do instead is, so, this, is a tap mm. and said tap what it does is it can either create cold water or hot water out that hot that's hot we're going to use hot water because yeah you, not many people like drinking cold teas apart from one person who i know but Turn that on, put the water in, and ow, ow, ow. And ta-da! Okay, now that you have your steaming hot water in your in your thing, after you've boil, boiled it up in the kettle, or have a tap that is magic somehow, you've got to get one of these. This little piece of magic it's called a tea bag what you do uh, what I do, try to throw it in no one loves you no one loves you ta ta see, you put that in and you get yourself a spoon I know, mind blowing oh my gosh, what are we going to do? It's, it's mind blowing, right? So, what you do, you get, you get said spoon, I forgot what it was a second. You get a spoon, right? You put it in the hot water with the tea bag. Stir it around for a little bit, bearing in mind, when you're making a cup of tea, depending if you like it strong or hot, I like it quite strong and sugary and sweet, cause I have a little bit of sweet to it. So, what I do, I stir it to make it strong, like for a little bit, and then after that, I add some sugar. But, depending if you're the kind of person that likes it, whether or not it's cold, not, yeah, cold, uh, weak, or, I don't know, even, like, no sugar or anything like my dad, he, does, he likes it strong with no sugar. What I, what you do is, you get some sugar, I usually have two spoonfuls, so you get the sugar in there, put it in there, right? I'm running out of sugar. I need to go out and get some at some point. So, right. there you go. So you put the sugar in, right? And like you get your spoon, stir it around, make, mix it in, you know, some simple stuff. And after that, here, here is where the magic happens. 
milk. Milk. What you do is mix up. After you stir the tea bag with the sugar or honey or whatever you like in it, sweetener or anything. Take it out. I'm gonna put it on the side because I have a little uh, plate where I can put some up. It's magic, it's wonderful. Then what you do, put that down, and you get some milk, right? Don't unless you're a kind of person that likes tea milky, so a lot of milk, then it's good. But because it because what we were doing, we were using hot water, boiling hot water with a tea bag, the milk kind of cools it down a little bit. Obviously you can blow it, put it in the fridge for a little bit for like a minute or two. Uh, but it doesn't really but what milk does is it cools it down, so so it's so amazing, isn't it? Look at that, it's so nice. And so for the grand reveal. <laughs> that is how you make a cup of tea. Okay, so so now that that's dry, move on. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we are not gonna use that yet. We I'm going to use some white, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start spraying on here. Please don't spread that much. And that's going to be alright. So, there you go. So, besides it dripping, which I need it to stop. God, no. That just made it worse. Oh, God, no. So, you've got the white in the corner to create a... Uh, Kind of like a planet effect, you know? That's why we got the newspaper. I'm, I'm falling. So I finished with the white. It looks pretty cool actually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually impressed with that. The point is that I dipped my hand in paint basically uh, and made a masterpiece. Uh, you've got the little white splodges on there, which to create the stars, because yeah. you got the white here. Oh, God, no, I hope I didn't just ruin it. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. I fixed it, I fixed it, I fixed it. Oh, well, I fixed I fixed it. There we go, I fixed it. Um, But uh, now, uh, obviously, I've got the, the stuff on there. Stars got a little like, like, I don't know, like, I'm gonna put this on there, okay? So, one, I forgot to record myself doing it, two, I got too much paint in my hands, and three, here it is, a little bit messy, I know, but considering this is my second time doing it, I did my first time, I did this like years and years ago, right, but down in Cornwall, so. Uh, but and bearing in mind I had professional help doing this, so but this it's not that bad actually. I'm I'm pretty impressed actually. Like I got a couple planets, like I got a couple planets. Um, I tried doing this like newspaper technique. It wasn't the best technique, I'd say, but uh, like it looks so much easier on that. Like how do people do it? Like come on, like help please. <laughs> but uh. I think I went a little bit too much with the blue and the pink a little bit. If only I had more black because I just ran out straight away, it would have been alright, but here it is.